CP Gamers, bringing you another update on the Endor mock that I've been working on. So obviously as you can see, I expanded the front section of the mock quite a bit. We still have the back basically the same as it was, um, and I've been doing a lot of, basically all my focus is on the front this time, and there's been a lot of changes going on in my workspace here, so it's not been as productive as I would have liked. But I actually do think that there's a good amount to show off this week, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can kind of see, this is a little bit cleaned up from last time. We have, you can see where the AT-AT's feet are going to be. Uh, and you can also see that I started one there. I started one there. And the reason why I didn't continue it onto the other side and continue that onto the other side is because there's actually going to be another small area in here. So what I mean by that is I'm going to fit another 16 studs in there. Um, the reason why I don't do that right now is because I don't have the brown plates to fill the spot, but eventually it's going to be that. So it's going to be, it's going to look like that. Um, the crashed X-Wing is a new addition. It, it's kind of going where I thought that the uh, turbo laser would go, but obviously the X-Wing is there now. So I think I like the X-Wing a little bit better than the tur turbo laser. Uh, I'm always interested in builds that kind of are purposely destroyed, you know, like a crashed speeder or TIE fighter or something. So I like that. Obviously this is not, um, well first of all it's not connected. It's not finished either. Um, and I also want to make sure that it looks a little bit more destroyed than this. I'll probably yank one of the wings off. Um, but yeah, I mean it's pretty simple as you can see. It's just like a little ditch in there for the X-Wing. It's very flat on the bottom so the wings can still be spanned out as if it was in like attack formation. Uh, so I actually like how that looks a lot. I also built it into blue, kind of like a blue squadron from Rogue One. Uh, I know that they were probably mostly destroyed after the Battle of uh, Scarif, but I, I just like it better. And since this isn't completely accurate or anything, I think I'm going to keep it blue because it's just a little bit unique. I like how it looks. So let me know what you guys think about the uh, the crash there. Obviously it's not done, um, but I am thinking about, I probably, I might have to expand this a little bit lengthwise, this uh, little debris area here. I also want to add some more color to it. Obviously it's not going to be just brown. I want there to be some dark brown like this, uh, maybe some lighter brown and also some gray and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it be on fire or have smoke coming out of it because I don't know if I want it to be like a recent crash or not because uh, the AZAT is still going to be parked over there but that's the thing the AZAT is basically parked it's not in like a battle position so that's why it wouldn't be like destroying this uh, X-Wing right here so I think that's what I'm going to do for that I also like how this X-Wing kind of scales pretty well with the AZAT can't see it really right now because the AZAT is not set up yet but um there's the foot next to it, so, you know, the X-Wing is still kind of big, but the AT-AT is going to look just massive next to it. This would still be able to fit a minifigure in it, and speaking of that, the minifigure probably won't be uh, in a cockpit or anything, because I probably won't even build the cockpit. I might have some debris over here that's supposed to look like a cockpit, but uh, I really want the focus to be this back engine section, which I think looks cooler than the front of the uh, X-Wing. So I need to still build the little engine cylinders up there, but that's what I'm going to be doing uh, in the near future. So with that being said, you guys can kind of see, once again, the details I've been putting into this uh, ground area over here. There's going to be obviously more than just this one color, but right now I think the base color is looking pretty good. I wanted to make sure that it was mostly brown because I'm really basing this off of the Battlefront 2 video game, the map on Endor, and I really like how that map looks, and it has like a dried out lake bed here, or maybe it's like a river actually. Uh, but it runs along the center of the map, as I've talked about in the past, but I actually have a new video editing software now, so I can show you guys what I meant uh, by inserting a picture right here, and that's exactly what I mean. So this mock is going to look as close to that map as I possibly can while still kind of maintaining some creative changes, in my own opinion. Uh, the changes are, there's a, a lot of changes, obviously, but they're pretty transparent, meaning there's not too much going on to them. There's a lot of actual surface area of LEGO being added, but besides the uh, the crash and the stuff going on over here with just the detailing of the landscape, there's not really that much to talk about. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be getting started on this upper platform where we're going to have some of the Imperial vehicles landing, uh, so that should be pretty interesting. 
I know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to save that for probably the next episode or the episode after that where I really discuss how I'm going to make the landing pad look as good as I can make it. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys like the series and you like the Lego mocks that I produce, please subscribe to the channel and tell your friends because it helps me a lot with the expansion of the channel and uh, keeps me motivated to keep building. So thank you guys once again and I'll see you soon with another video.